All right, so we got about 90 seconds left. We've been commercial free for the last hour. So let's try to figure something out for tomorrow. Not really a final sure. trades, Tim, but just kind of getting texts like you are. Is the market going up tomorrow? Well, <laughs> a, a, you know, and certainly like kind of a do's and don'ts. And, and certainly, look, my, my view is that there's been extreme selling and that there's many things that are oversold. And, and as much as I've harped on fear of credit, um, here's what I think you should do. I think you need to have a plan. So don't not have a plan. So forget the double negative. Have a plan uh, on stocks that you want to own and, and at what level you want to own them, ir irrespective of the environment. It requires doing a little bit of work, mm -hmm. requires having, a, a, I think, a bottom-up view on things. Um, but also, I think that's really, you have to be without emotion. I think you have to look at what today's lows were, whether it's a single stock or whether it's the overall market index. And I think that's where you start to look for a bounce. Wait for the panic to subside a little bit on coronavirus. The more we learn, I think the less panicky we'll be. Yeah, well, first of all, you don't have to do anything. But what I'm looking to do is add to positions I love, like Google, as it gets cheaper every day. I'm not looking to buy protection here. I think you've missed the boat if you're looking to buy protection now. It's too late. It's always painful, but it's absolutely necessary. And you know what? This one doesn't feel good, but I think it's the best possible thing. We'll get yeah. through this as well, Brian.